Kawasaki disease, also called mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome, is one of the most common vasculitis of childhood. It occurs only rarely in adults. It is typically a self-limited condition, with fever and manifestations of acute inflammation, often lasting for an average of 12 days without therapy. Kawasaki disease is characterized by systemic inflammation, manifested by fever, and mucocutaneous involvement, including bilateral pink eye, non-exudative conjunctivitis, redness of the lips and oral mucosa including strawberry tongue and lip cracking, polymorphic rash, extremity changes with redness of hands and feet, swelling and skin peeling of fingertips, and swollen neck gland or cervical lymphadenopathy. The diagnosis of Kawasaki disease requires the presence of fever of at least five days, combined with at least four of the other five signs of mucocutaneous inflammation, without any other explanation. These findings are often not present at the same time, resulting in difficulty making the diagnosis. Infants and possibly adults are more likely to present with incomplete Kawasaki disease. Infants are at greater risk for cardiovascular complications, possibly due in part to a delay in diagnosis and intervention. Infants six months of age or less, with unexplained fever for at least seven days, should be evaluated for Kawasaki. Even if they have no clinical findings of Kawasaki disease, additional clinical and laboratory features are often used to guide diagnosis in children who have fewer than five criteria or incomplete Kawasaki disease. No laboratory studies are included among the diagnostic criteria for typical Kawasaki disease. But the presence of compatible laboratory features strongly supports the diagnosis. Laboratory findings suggestive of Kawasaki disease include the following. Elevated acute phase reactant CRP above 3 mg per deciliter, or ESR above 40. WBC count above 15,000 per microliter. Normocytic, normochromic anemia for age. Platelet cell count above 450,000 per microliter after 7 days of illness. Non-neutrophilic sterile pyuria due to urethritis. Seromalanine aminotransfers level above 50 units per liter. Serum albumin less than or equal to 3 grams per deciliter. The presence of cardiac abnormalities detected by echocardiography provides support in ambiguous, incomplete cases of Kawasaki disease. Children with Kawasaki disease can have concurrent infections, particularly with viruses circulating in the community at the time of their diagnosis. The major complication of Kawasaki disease is coronary artery abnormalities including aneurysm. Acute myocardial infarction is the main cause of death. Please like and subscribe for more health tips.